Howdy all, I am Adam, the Renaissance Nerd. Disney, Disney without a doubt is collapsing under the weight of the decisions from a single individual, Bob Iger. That's right, Bob Iger is the architect, the man who set the table and asked everybody to dine on his bad decisions for the past 15 plus years. There is no doubt at all that he is the reason everything is falling apart at Disney. He's the man that decided to buy everything up, put it under one umbrella, and put people who are horrible leaders in charge of classic IPs and properties. Therefore, it is no wonder that it is starting to be rejected by the world. Most recently, we got their current uh, fiscal or earnings report. Things are still down. Oh, but they didn't lose as much here. No, they're still losing Hundreds of millions, billions of dollars across the board. But in order to fix that, got to raise prices on Disney Plus because Bob Iger is determined to make Disney Plus profitable. He has to do it. He has been sinking money into this for a decade. Yes, Disney Plus has been in the works since the early 2010s. There is no doubt that he put all the marbles in his little chest into Disney Plus, thinking that would be the next revolutionary step of the world. We're going to be like Netflix. We're going to make all this money. We're going to trap people in this retarded idea of renting things for life. See that? Because that's what streaming is. Streaming, and I hate to break it to people who like it, streaming is renting for life. You don't own anything. You don't get to keep it. They get to take it away from you whenever they feel like it. And they get to make changes on it if they also feel like it. That's what streaming is. That's why I've never bought into it. And nobody should buy into it from this point going forward, my opinion. But they're going to raise prices on Disney+. Plus. They have to raise prices on Disney+. Plus Because Disney+, Plus has never been profitable since its rushed launch three years ago. Well, for those who are... I guess still using it for those who didn't have it automatically installed on their phones when they got Verizon or some other little gift package and they never asked for it for those who actually want it they're not happy cancel Disney plus online searches spike after Disney hikes prices by more than 25 percent let's read a little bit of this and then we will go forward because uh this this is the logical path Online searches for the phrase Cancel Disney Plus have reportedly spiked after Disney announced it will hike prices for the streaming entertainment service by more than 25%. Google search data shows that Cancel Disney Plus jumped worldwide by 510% on Monday, the most significant increase of that phrase on Google Trends since January 2023, according to an analysis done from NoDeposit.Guide. Last week, the Walt Disney Company said it's hiking Disney Plus's monthly subscription price to $13.99 from $10.99, a 27% increase. Last year, the price rose to $10.99 from $7.99, which means Disney Plus subscribers will see their monthly bill climb a total of 75% in less than two years. And you know what you get for that? You get Disney MCU. You get Disney Star Wars. You get agenda-driven animation. You don't get classic Disney. Oh, but Adam Renaissance Disney's on there. Yeah, but do you go beyond that? You go 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years beyond that and get that classic stuff? Not that I've heard. Because they don't want classic family-driven entertainment. They only want agenda-driven entertainment on their channel. Only that which can be used to indoctrinate your children and push the message on you whether you want it or not. Now, the article here goes on to tell you stuff that we already know. Disney is massively in debt. They owe billions of dollars to NBC, Universal, Comcast for Hulu. Hulu, which they want to merge with Disney Plus to be the new streaming giant. Yeah, that ain't going to work. It's not going to be successful because you're not making money. Nobody watches your crap content. But Adam, everybody's excited for Ahsoka in nine days. No, no, only the circle jerking Twitter stands are excited. Real fans don't like it. Normies have checked out. Nobody watches the MCU on Disney+. Plus. There's no money in Disney+. Plus. It doesn't turn a profit. And it will never turn a profit. Because they keep losing subscribers. 
that's the key. You got to draw people in. You got to keep them entertained. And you can't do that when your content is crap. And trying to raise the prices on those who already have it, that's not a recipe for success. Nobody watches Disney Plus. Nobody watches the ESPN's crap. Nobody is interested in anything Disney. Why? As I said, it's agenda entertainment. It's not family entertainment anymore. Disney is in, it's in deep shit. It is collapsing. The parks do not bring in money anymore. Entertainment doesn't bring in money. Nobody's buying the merch. Nobody's singing Kumbaya, Wish Upon a Star. Oh, Wish. Yeah, that's going to flop. Marvel's going to flop. Haunted Mansion already flopped. Yes, Elemental has not broken even. Indiana Jones, apparently today, uh, Sound of Freedom is eating its lunch. There's, there's, there's no saving Disney as it is. Bob, and, and, and as I said, it's all because Bob Iger set the table. Bob Iger has earned all of this. Join me, my friends. Join me as we stand here and dance. Dance before this giant bonfire that is Disney. Watch it burn and celebrate the day when they are so desperate that they may have to start selling off the things they've acquired under the Iger regime in order to save the host body. Because that's going to happen. I've been saying it. Just wait and see. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic, because facts and logic do not care about whiny stan, SJW, and fake fan fifis. Hit the notification button, show my videos if you like what I'm preaching. By all means, leave a comment. I love to hear from real passionate fans like you. I care what you think. I do not care what the stands and the SJWs have to say, because 201, they're all cowards behind keyboards, so easily triggered to give me a smile on my face. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you'd like to reach out to me, please email me at therandnerd at gmail.com for all channel business purposes. I am on Twitter now, mostly for promotion and sharing of videos, maybe a little shit stirring here and there. Who knows? At the Ren Nerd. You can also find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can see me on Rumble and Odyssey under the Renaissance Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.